Aloha and welcome uh, to Emerald Meadows, uh, your one-stop channel for all things RC and sometimes quilting. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the uh, uh, the Trinity uh, LiPo IR meter. Uh, I just received this um, uh, a few days ago and uh, it's something that I've been looking for for quite some time. I have I have um, looked for some but they were actually very expensive and I really didn't want to invest a hundred or so dollars to measure the internal resistance but I uh, knew it was important so I know from Experimental I, uh, Airlines they did a, a short video on how to calculate your um, internal resistance by uh, measuring the unloaded minus the voltage volt unload, uh, the unloaded voltage minus the uh, loaded voltage divided by the amp times a thousand would give you the milliamps using the light and then measuring the uh, the voltage after uh, there was a load uh, which is this light on your battery uh, but it took some time I mean just to do a test on a battery it, it took uh, quite a bit of time you had to set it up do the calculations um, and so I was always I knew that the internal resistance on a battery was really important because it really dictated how long your flights could be uh, and why sometimes bad things happen. Uh, I'm almost certain that a few times when I had crashes, it was actually because I had a bad battery in that I thought was good. It then flew uh, too far away or the battery uh, stopped working and then the plane plane went down. Uh, I'm just going to show you uh, uh, an example of what a good battery, what the internal resistance is on a good battery, and I'll show you what the readings are. And then here's one that I thought was a good battery and what the actual internal resistance reading uh, is on this. Uh, also at the bottom down below, uh, I have a link of, uh, uh, not a link, but I have uh, details uh, from research I did on the web as to what makes a, a good or bad internal resistance. And there's three, uh, three levels there, um, good battery, moderate battery, and battery that you should maybe not use anymore for flying or it's at the end of its lifetime. Uh, there's no hard and fast rule, but I, I think that the chart provided below will give you a good indication of, uh, of when you should be replacing your batteries because I think it's risky uh, not having a good battery. Uh, last year I also switched over to the, uh, to the um, uh, Trinity system with uh, telemetry um, uh, and the, the radio, the Tyrannus radio uh, the Tyrannos radio with telemetry and I switched over to this and I've, I've been quite happy because it always gives me my voltage uh, this was a this was a lifesaver uh, it's a, a heck of a lot more fun flying uh, when you know uh, uh, how much voltage you have uh, and when that uh, when, when you're abusing uh, a battery uh, in a plane so uh, anything that has telemetry is, is really going to enhance your uh, flying experience but if you get a battery new from the store and you think it's a good battery, this Turnigy infrared meter is is, uh, is phenomenal. That's just the canopy falling off my new uh, the Raptor replacement called the First Star, uh, which I'm uh, building up for the spring. So let's take a look at um, some of these batteries now. This is a, a good Zippy 25C. Uh, I've only used it a few times. And let's take a look at its readings and we can see that our internal resistance is 28 milliohms uh, with 3.85 volts uh, for the first cell, uh, 3.86 for number one, 3.85 for cells two and three. So this is a good battery um, and uh, uh, I should get a lot of good flights on it. Now let's take a look at a battery that I thought was good and in fact it isn't. So this is a, a Zippy uh, 853 cell. Uh, it's brand new. It's only been used uh, twice. Um, <clears throat> let's go in and test the internal resistance. Meter goes on. Then it does uh, a testing and let's zoom in and find out what the internal resistance here. 68 milliohms. This battery is actually at the end of its life and uh, this is one I uh, have only had two flights on. Uh, it is possible to damage a battery that bad on one flight by, by uh, draining it too, too low, 
but uh, not that I know of. So this is a good, uh, a, a good way to test your batteries when you buy them to make sure that these are uh, good batteries that you're getting in the first place. So thank you very much and I will hopefully have a new video within the next week or so. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.